different unit not working out at my other spot so I'm gonna switch it up a bit running just a little late but I think we're gonna be all right like I feel like if I can get on a buck there's a very good chance I can kill in this spot I just gotta glass them up and then we'll go from there so I'll keep you guys updated all right guys so I just stopped here for a second to glass this side off the road and I got a I'd say he's a shooter bug up on the side here so I think I'm gonna go put a stock on him. I'm gonna try to get some video right now and then get all my stuff on and head over there before he gets off that ridge. He's in a good spot too for me to be by myself, so I feel good about this. So I'm gonna go uh, get some footage real quick for you guys. Oh, uh, that ended pretty good. <laughs> Something uh, busted him and, or bumped him and sent him up over the hill, so before I can even get any footage of him. I can watch in bed. We're gonna be in good shape, so. Well guys, that's a wrap for the day. Um, pretty sweet. So I had this freaking smaller buck walk up to me. He just got his stick right here. Oh, right there. He's standing right there. 16 yards. I was stalking closer. And, um, and I put my head down to look at my feet where I was stepping. I look up and he's just feeding right to me. He stopped and he like pegged me, but I just sat here and did not move. And then I feel something crawling in my hand and I think it's like an ant or something. I look down and I, it's a freaking bee coming up my arm. Like, oh my God, don't move. Wait, can't hurt that bad, right? It's better to shoot a buck than be off you so i was bracing for this thing to sting me and it eventually it crawled all the way up my arm into my shirt and then it flew out and the whole time he just stared there stand there staring at me and uh, eventually he just ran out whatever started feeding again and freaking turned around and walked back down in the in the uh 
trees that they came out of and that's where i think the bigger buck was um, and then just a couple minutes ago he just busted out of there i think the wind switched um so that's it but that was pretty sweet i was 17 yards i ranged it from a smaller buck if the big if the bigger buck was in there and he was about 60 but i couldn't see him yet so not a bad day finally put a stock on it's been pretty rough um past couple days but it's nice to get a stock in um gotta go to work now after work i'm gonna go and sit uh same water hole that matt shot his buck at because why not so I'll touch base with you guys then made it back out um pumping some gas right now uh, about 20, 20 minutes from the spot right now um and then we're gonna sit that water hole and feel pretty good i mean there's a lot of deer there last time we were sitting and seems to be a pretty good hot spot right now so hoping a big buck comes in fingers crossed so i just made it into the water hole on the way in uh, i was walking in and i could see a deer literally right in front of me yards and uh it looked like a small buck i couldn't see him well enough to tell if i would shoot him or not but um he didn't see me and so i got that little clip i don't think you could see him in and then a deer to my left which is where the wind was blowing took off i'm guessing he smelled me and then that deer took off too but i mean the fact that another that it was a buck the one i saw I'm guessing the other one was probably a buck too. It sucks, I wish I would have at least seen him. Could have been a nice buck, but it's what it is, so I'm excited. I have a good feeling about this, so all we need is a good buck to walk in, and, and uh, we're gonna let one fly. So, so we'll see what happens. <laughs>
not a huge bug, but I need my first archery bug. Oh, I hope he's dead. I don't heard some crashing, but nothing like big, like he went down for sure. Oh. Yeah, the shot felt good, but I just, again, it was so hard to make out his body in the dark. I could see his front shoulder. But I'm going to see if I can watch the video. It looks like a clean mess. It's tough. It's tough. I swear when he ran out, he, had, he was holding his leg up. Alright, well, I'm going to go out and grab my arrow. Just double check. I'm going to go ahead and check my arrow. Oh my god, I didn't miss. <coughs> There's bubbles. No way. <laughs> I'm so confused. Hell yes. I kind of want to... I'm going to see what this blood trail looks like right here. But I kind of want to wait because I still think the, the shot was forward. I might have just cut his brisket. So, I'm going to see what this looks like real quick. And then... Maybe sit and wait to go in. I, I knew I saw him running with his leg up. I knew it. But the video looks like a clean miss. I don't get it. I'm confused, but hell yeah, dude. That's a good looking arrow. Blood there. Blood there. Blood. Good blood. Got to go uh, hike in, see if we can find this dude. I have a good feeling about it, but we'll see what happens. So, let's go. And then I freaking, I was worried about drawing back, but he back. He didn't see. And then I thought I admit, dude, I, <laughs> that's crazy. Because if you play it fast, right, it looks like, I don't know, I kind of hit in front of him. But then I saw the blood. Huh? <laughs> I saw blood when you shot. Yeah, I saw the. Well, I was watching on the camcorder. Yeah. Um, and then I noticed the arrow didn't go into the mud, and I thought that was weird because obviously you're 70 pounds, it's gonna go into the mud. Yeah. So I was like, it must have like ricocheted off this. Like, I don't know if so pretty good blood there. I see some of them. And then I think it digging into the mud kind of got rid of any blood up front. But there's meat and stuff on there, so looks good. So we got the blood right here is where it starts. It's hard to see. Hi, if I were you, I'd start tracking on on X. Yeah. yeah. Watch your your arrows. Your arrows, they're gonna hit the post.
Alright. Right there, look at that, dude. Look at the rock. Look at the rock. Yeah. Look oh, at that. Look at that, dude. Yeah, he started opening up. Look at that. Yes. Okay, this is where it's gonna get a look. Right there on the rock. Right there. Right there. Right there on the rocks. Did he, he went this way. Okay. Where's he at? He's right here. Oh. Jeez. He's done. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. First archery buck. Yes, dude. Well, that was a quick track job. Not too bad, man. He came from that little trail right there. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Yes. Damn, dude. It's a big body deer. It's not a bad deer. First buck, dude. First buck, archery buck. Hell yeah, dude. That's awesome. How many years of, <laughs> four years, I think, of hunting archery? Finally did it. Finally got it done. That's so cool in the velvet, dude. Hell yeah. Yeah, that tracker saved your ass. <laughs> yeah, look at the exit, dude. Is that the exit? Holy. That's Swacker Broadhead, dude. Wow. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that saved my ass for sure, dude. Hell yeah, man. Thank you, Lord. Do the busy work. Let's do it. Let's get some pictures first. Watch out! Where, where, where? Right here in this rock, I think. <laughs> Back up. No, he's, he's over there. Where? Behind me. He's like behind this. Are you still recording? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's pissed. If you guys can't hear that. <laughs> oh, I see him right there. You see him? Yeah, right there. Oh. Made it back to the truck. Um, was a little nervous on this one. Um, shot, um, hit, but I didn't know it. Actually, had to look at the footage, slow it down, and then once we saw that it hit, it looked like a good shot. Um, but still, once I looked at the blood, it weren't too sure if it was a really a good shot or not. It was not the best blood trail, but Robert came out, helped me out, and uh, started tracking him in, and only went about 100 yards, I think. Um, and he was piled up there, so Swacker did a good good job on him. First archery buck, and um, I'm pretty happy. It was a good year. Um, excited to do the rest of the hunts this year. And uh, yeah, I'm headed home. Got a long drive ahead. It hasn't really hit me until now. Like it, I've been hunting archery for about four or five years now and it hurts to say that but I mean that's how archery is finally kill the buck now and I mean it's just it's such a good feeling for it to finally all work out but stay tuned guys this is just a start um, we got a lot of you know big big ideas and um, hunts coming up um, and I, they're gonna look really good we, I mean we we're telling everyone this year is gonna be different we're going to take this serious, we're going to make good videos, we're going to make sure we get things on film, and I mean, we managed to do it uh, already tagged out, me and Matt, and a 
first four days of the opening season. So, I mean, I'm pretty pumped. There's, you know, we still got bear hunts. We got javelina, we got an elk hunt, we got deer. So, I mean, this is just the start, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting us, the people that do. And um, I, I hope we only grow from here. I really, I really, you know, see a bright future for this channel. Uh, me and Matt are both very devoted to it, and we both have very um, big ideas for it. Um, we really want this to go a long way, and you know, it's just awesome to be able to record your hunts like that because you're never gonna forget. You have it, you know, you have it in person, and or not in person, but you know, you have a video of it, and you can relive it whenever you want. You can share it with friends, and everyone can kind of relive it with you. So it's just fun to be able to record things like that, and and uh, get some good footage and so once again guys just stick with us because it's only going to get better from here i promise you uh, thanks for watching guys i'm out some call me a sinner for the things i've done